we go. Good afternoon, uh, December the 15th, uh, Art Expression Show. Um, I have a, a very good friend of mine and very good artist, Jim Wong. I've known Jim for how long now? Um, at least 10 years, maybe? 10, ten plus years. Yeah. We belong to the, uh, the Saturday Live group. And before yeah. we, we go into uh, his paintings, uh, I belong to another art group. Uh, I belong to five. Four of them have kind of shut down until this is over. Uh, so yeah. I want to push uh, the Crafters Guild that I belong to in Bedford, New Hampshire. And it's the Crafters Guild.org, Craft Workers Guild.org. Look up the website because all their sales are going online, and I have to push this group. It's, uh, in fact, I'm going to be talking to Jim about maybe him possibly joining uh, this group. And out of all the the art groups that I belong to, they're the only ones that figured out uh, how to do this online because this COVID kind of hit everybody and knocked everybody into the corner. And so the art groups that I've been members for one for 35 years of Manchester Artists mm -hmm. Association. Uh, in fact, the, the art commission is not even meeting now. Uh, my last meeting with them was last, last March well, and yeah. uh, mm -hmm. the first, first week. And after that, everything kind of slid down. Uh, so again, that's the craft workers org, and look up their website and if you like paintings, you have a certain artist you can browse through online, and they're selling the artwork uh, online. And I feel kind of good. I actually sold a small watercolor for for uh, twenty five dollars. So it's a little five by seven. But it keeps artists that like to create and like to work, like Jim and myself. It keeps us busy and keeps us uh, until we get through this. So I'm going to uh, kind of turn the show over to Jim a little bit, and he's going to talk about the painting that he has uh, yep. behind his back. I, he sent this to me in a JPEG, and I looked at it, and it, it is, it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. And this is oil. And tell us a little bit about the inspiration for the, this. Is, uh, oh, sure. Is it New Hampshire or Mass? No, or? this is uh, Maine. Uh, oh, Maine. Yeah, Arcadia National Park. Oh yeah, to be specific, uh, this is uh, Otter's Cliff area um, wow. in in the seacoast of Maine, and uh, uh, we went there about two years ago. No, a year ago, I think. Yeah, back in the fall, uh, and we uh, entered the park through this 27 mile um, park loop, and you can go stop by each of the park loops and uh, enjoy the sceneries. And there's many uh, uh, national park uh, uh, historic sites there, like the Sands Beach and the Thunder Hole, et cetera. And this is uh, right. Otter Cliff. And so I took a photograph of this uh, on my, I think I took it on my iPhone. And uh, then I kind of based that on the drawing there. And this, this is, Still a uh, painting that I did about less than three weeks ago. In fact, you may see some oil that's still about to dry, but <laughs> yeah, it's a 24 by 36 painting. Um, and uh, a lot of earth tone colors in here. Um, I use a lot of uh, glazing techniques here uh, where I put a, first I apply a light color, color on the let's say on the gray tones of the rocks, and then you apply a darker uh, transparent stain on it. Uh, that's what glazing is all about. Mm -hmm. um, and 
the medium you use for the glazing is not linseed oil, which I use, which is for ordinary painting, but I use a uh, thicker gel, which is um, based on uh, Linquin, which is uh, made by Windsor and, New and Newton. Linquin, they call yeah, it? Linquin, yeah, Linquin, yeah. Yeah, I've heard a lot a, about it's that. It's an alkyl or an alkyl, alkyl medium. Yeah. So, so now, you can, you can glaze using linseed oil, too. Right. Uh, yeah, you can to a point. Yeah, it's it's not as glossy, but the Linquin uh, uh, medium is a faster drying, faster uh, drying, yeah, drying medium that you can mix with uh, a lighter, a darker color stain, and uh, that's it, it probably uh, speeds it up to a five-hour drying process. So the next day after it's dry, you can paint another stain over on top of that. Right. So it more or less dries overnight, and you go right back to it, right? Yeah, I mean some some of the masters, you know, they could do multiple uh, uh, glazing uh, one on top of the other, like Maxwell Parish. Maxwell, yeah, yeah, he yeah. did a lot of that uh, technique. Um, so um, so I try to do about up to maybe no more than two layers of glazing. Um, oh. The uh, earth tones are are really beautiful. Yeah, so. It, it also provides a more glossier uh, painting on top of that too. So, uh, so what glazing does is that it allows the light to penetrate through the layers. And so if you have multiple layers of glazing, some of that light will bounce back and you get a deeper appreciation for the color depth of the painting. So oh. much more than, than do a photo, an ordinary photograph. And this, so, this this park now, where is that located? In nor northern Maine, southern Maine, uh, mid Maine, or yeah, it's Mount Desert Island or Acadia National Park. Yeah, yeah. Where, uh, what part of Maine is that located? At? Way up north. Um, it's uh, a good uh, by Bangor. Port. Yeah, it's just just before Bar Harbor, Maine. Yeah, is the next town. So uh, it's a it's a good four four and a half hour drive at least or more. <laughs> Well, I haven't been to Maine since yeah. 1980 or 81, yeah. but uh, most of my, I have, on my mother's side, that's where she was born, all her yeah. sisters, so I have relatives up there, yeah, uh, but I haven't been up there in so long, yeah, but it is beautiful. Yeah, definitely, yeah, it's, it's Maine. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Um, by the time you get there, you know, which could be a six-hour drive. <laughs> really? Yeah, you need to stay overnight, you know, to appreciate it, come back again. <laughs> Can you camp there in tents and stuff like that? Um, I don't think so. Um, you have to go to like a motel or something. Yeah, I mean the close, well, close ones is Bar Harbor, Maine. I think you can find a hotel there. Um, so you can't but, camp there. Um, I didn't see any camping grounds. I might. I mean, I'm not a camper. I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I wonder about that. I mean, yeah. what is it like? Thousands and thousands of acres. Yeah, it's a huge, yeah, it's a huge. big 27-mile uh, <clears throat> park loop that you can drive around it and, and stop wow. at each different uh, location. I bet they have a lot of black bear and stuff up there, too. Yeah, Part black berries. Oh, yeah. Wildlife. Wildlife, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And this painting here to your right, yeah. the flowers here. Yeah, oh, yeah, the next one. That, yeah. uh, that really s sticks right out. I think it's because yeah. of... Not only the, the color, but then you've got where the light and the reflection, just to the left, mm -hmm. where, uh, I mean, that just brings your eye right there. Yeah. Sunlight, you know. Yeah, this is uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is a 16 by 20, also oil painting. Uh, uh, the title, title of this painting is uh, the Hawaiian Punch Hibiscus uh, Flower. Wow. Um, so, uh, so my wife Mary bought this flower, and she sat aside, put on uh, this barbecue grill cover. So, <laughs> so I end up taking a photo of it and uh, use that as my reference photo. <clears throat> wow. And uh, again, the techniques here is to make it more realistic. Is uh, you put the, the dark color first, so you know the sap green uh, mixed with the uh, blacks, the ivory blacks. And then uh, on the leaf, you know, I try to paint every grain of the leaf uh, and then use glazing again to uh, provide a, a better um, uh, shading effect. <clears throat> it's what they call transitional glazing. 
um, hmm. kind of based on the old masters, they do that. Uh, so you need uh, to put uh, <clears throat> a, a light color, uh, a greenish color on the leaf, and then followed by a darker tone or stain on the on the glazing on top of that. So that gives you another uh, transitional effect on on the leaf, so to make it more realistic. Um, so uh, that's why you see uh, when you see the painting, it you see multiple colors of of uh, green shading um, from dark to light, as you notice on the leaf here. So the sun is is down this way here. So it's <coughs> so you get a little bit of uh, pinkish here on the flower mm. and the green shade. <coughs> so again, you know you uh, you play around with the lighting effects, you know, and the shadows. <coughs> yeah, again, the glazing is important. Uh, and I learned that technique uh, as I go along too, because I found that if you do the transitional glazing, uh, you get more realistic pa painting in your paintings. Right. Um, and you know, you don't want to try to. I don't try to make any mistakes now because mixing white with a, a green color and laying on top of the leaf is is not that good because white, titanium white especially, is the most opaque color in the glazing process so you rather not use that color you want to use flake white which is a, a warmer tone uh, that's glaze. kind of off white yeah it's it's yeah. a warmer glazing tone effect flake white has some lead base on it but it's um it's a nice color and then zinc white is another one which is a uh is that very is opaque as as uh yeah titanium? it's less opaque than white yeah it's is not it? as intense um yeah the uh that tan and white is too too intense, I think, for glazing. Yeah. Uh, so you want to use something, either the cooler zinc color, which is the uh, zinc white, uh, and that provides a uh, <clears throat> a cooler uh, stain. Um, so you you mix that with uh, with your greens. So that's how I achieve that effect. Do you ever paint outside with oil? Uh, painting outside, outdoors, outdoors, um, plain air. Plain in? No, I haven't really. You haven't? Mostly indoors. Well, I was thinking because yeah. where I live uh, hmm. and where I have lived in the past, uh, I used to paint with oils, and the first thing a landlord would say was, I like your artwork, but boy, it smells bad. Oh, so yeah, I'd open uh, up the window and put a fan, and he would still say, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, so I, I, I've got some water-based uh, oils, but I'm thinking I like the feel of oil oil. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if I go outside... And you know, try it out there, and which I think I yeah, will. Yeah, I, I use the. Uh, yeah, I got away from the uh, the turpentine. That's yeah. You don't yeah, you don't want to use the. Smelly. Well, you can get odorless. Yeah, stuff right. Now. Turpinoy, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, odorless turpinoy. But then I use, I started using Gamsol. Gamsol. Gamsol is um, is also an odorless um, uh, oil. So I use that for actually washing my brush cleaning out the paint when I transmission from one brush to another. Um, right. And then linseed oil, I use that for um, thinning out my paints and, and actually um, uh, thinning out some of the uh, glazing too. So more, thin, more linseed oil you mix with your transparent colors, you can also use that as glazing besides the using the linquin or you can use the combination of that. Yeah. So. I'm gonna to have to try oil painting yeah. again. Yeah, I, yeah, uh, you gotta, yeah, you gotta have linseed oil for your oil and your and your paints. And the link one now. The link, link one is for the glazing. The glazing. Uh, mix. So it's it's a ratio of two to one. So you want to use two parts uh, link one to one pot paint. Really? Yeah, I think yeah. If you wanna. Does it thin yeah. it out that much where you have to? Um. It. Yeah. It. It. It's a nice blending gel. Because yeah, like I, I like yeah. the flow of oil paint. I yeah, mean, yeah, you, it's, it's a thicker gel. Yeah, so when you right. pour it on there, and I've uh, been, uh, yeah. I've experimented with water-based oil, mm -hmm. and it, it's not bad. It dries yeah. quicker, but uh, again, the more you do, you'll learn and you'll feel by the movement of your brush mm -hmm. what sure. you have to do, and sure. and it's 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 a learning process, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. But That's, this uh, yeah. is this really yeah. sticks right out. This. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's really six out. And we've got four more paintings, so we... Okay, all right, well, let's uh, move along to... Uh, okay. She looks familiar. Yeah, all right. Yeah. 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 Y
think just put it over here again. That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh boy. Really nice. Okay. This is a painting of Linda Ronstadt. Um, as everybody knows, <laughs> no, maybe is a few of the old timers. Is she still alive? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. She's still really? alive. Unfortunately, uh, sh her singing career is over. Yeah. I think she has Parkinson's disease, and that kind of killed her voice. Because I grew through. up with these people, mm. and I'm still surprised to see the Rolling Stones up there. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes uh, I think that they're mm -hmm. robots or something, but yeah. they're close to 80 years old and still doing this. And yeah. Paul McCartney's still doing it. He's older than they are. Oh, yeah. He's you know, coming back. He's coming with another uh, LP. But yeah. you, you talk about a talented lady, Linda Ronstadt. I mean, when she came out, she just, whoosh, yeah, just really awesome. Yeah. That's very yeah. nice too. And this is oil too, right? Yeah, oil. Yeah, I've, I've been doing all oil mostly now. Yeah, uh, this is oil on canvas. They're all actually so far. They're all, all of these have been canvas. Um, <clears throat> and so this is a sixteen by twenty. Uh, and uh, I based this on a, uh, on, a, on a picture that was in black and white, so I used my own color scheme for this painting. Right. Um, and then uh, for the lacing on her blouse, um, <clears throat> again, it's a combination of, of some glazing effects, and, um, and I had previously painted a gray overtone, undertone, actually, and so that's why the, the gray color that if you if I don't paint over it you, you'll see some grayish background on the on the blouse that gives well, you a, I like the yeah. shading effect that you have with the grays like under yeah. her arm there where her blouse is coming around yeah right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right, right yeah. into there I mean it's it's that bluish it's just really nice work there yeah there's a little bit of lightish um, sky blue color that I put there rather than try to use just uh, black you know yeah. <clears throat> you know, ivory black, you know. So. What is your combo for flesh tones? Um, Every artist I talk to has yeah. a different scheme, a different yeah, uh, um, color that they use for flesh tones. Some pe some artists stay away from yeah. this and that. And yeah, I use uh, burnt sienna, burnt. Uh, uh, transparent orange. Mm -hmm. um, I mix that with, um, and I use a flesh ochre too. To cheat a little bit. <laughs> yeah, cheat a little bit? Yeah, because it, uh, why, my, my mix, uh, cadmium reds, which I know how to mix to get the flesh tone, mix with raw sienna and, uh, and flake white. I don't use titanium yeah. white. <clears throat> flake white is, um, is a warmer color, mm -hmm. warmer white color. So, um, yeah, so that's what I did here. And then, yeah, these, these are between dark, uh, transparent orange, burnt sienna, uh, s yeah. Did you ever use a raw sienna? Yeah, that's part of the mixing color for the flesh color, yeah. For the flesh, yeah. yeah brown and, yeah, flesh tones. Does How about yellow ochre? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that one, uh, yeah. Uh, Napoline red, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, they all comes in pl into play. Uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, yeah, this is yeah. She has black here. Those are uh, ivory black and intense black. Uh, I use there. Um, See a lot. A lot of people yeah. will say, you know, a lot of artists. I've come to the point now where I, I very seldom use black. It's black. Yeah. Right. I always mix it with something. Like if yeah. I'm doing a background for flowers, I, I just finished a, a gift for somebody yeah. that mm. uh, for their daughter, and. I went from a photograph, it's a jasmine flower, mm -hmm. and you know how they'll have the flower bright and the, the greens and the, the yellows mm -hmm. in there, but behind it, uh, it looks black to most people, and people say, oh, that's black. But if you look close, mm -hmm. you'll realize that there's a lot of reflection, so I always mix my black because I learned a long time ago not to use just straight black. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, mix a little green with it or yeah, a, little, right. a um, little blue. Right, yeah, if you yeah. use... Uh, red and green, which are the opposite colors yeah. in the color wheel. You'll get your browns. You'll get a, you get a black or brownish color, or yeah. uh, orange and blue will give you a dark brown, and depending on how more blue you use, but less orange, you can also get it into a blackish color too. Okay. 
Let's oh, go yeah. on to the next painting, sure. Jim. There's one that I really... Here. Ah, that's it right there. Okay. Here, Here let there. me help you with that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, good. that's nice. Yeah, this is my only acrylic painting that I... in this set here. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, uh, no I wonder who those four guys are. Yeah, the, yeah, of course, the Beatles and... Yeah. Um, this is a uh, 18 by 24 uh, acrylic on wood panel, um, and uh, it's not an acrylic. Um, it's kind of uh, mono monochromatic or, or yeah. just black and whitish color. It's uh, based on the uh, Beatles cover uh, of the uh, revolver. Of their, no, not album. not revolver, but uh, uh, the Love Songs LP oh, collection of their Love yeah. Songs LP. You know, yeah. I I was 14 <laughs> years old. Yeah when they came out and yeah, oh yeah. I'll never forget my 14, parents yeah. when they saw the Beatles and shaked their hair my mother and father were going they need a haircut yeah. and but look what they've done and it's phenomenal but I see I like paintings like that where you can they're uh, yeah uh, there's not a whole big large color spread but you've handled it well yeah yeah you know I, yeah I, also, in, for acrylic, uh, which is a water base, um, also use uh, is this acrylic crazy here? technique. Huh? This one, acrylic. This is acrylic. Yeah. Um, so, um, so for acrylic painting, there's also a d different gel medium for glazing, mm -hmm. and that's um, what I use is Liquitex um, slow dry gel. Yeah. So if you mix that, which is it comes in a very thick uh, liquid substance and you paint and you mix that with your <clears throat> with your blacks and whites in my case I don't I use again uh, zinc white or or yeah. flake white uh, when you use Liquitex do you use a student body or do you use the full body the heavy body they call it um, because they make what they call yeah, a, for the uh, paint? yeah yeah um, there's a, a student grade they call it basic yeah uh, so you ever use that too? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I've learned that you can take your full body acrylics and mix it with a uh, a basic Liquitex, and it works well when you you combine mm -hmm. bind the acrylics. And then sometimes I'll yeah. just use the basics and, and get by, but that looks fine. Yeah, yeah. So and what's your combo color combo for this one? Well, it's yeah, it's just about four colors. Um, I'm seeing the ivory blacks. Is there any purple or blue in there? Uh, there's a hint of uh, bluish color here. Yeah. Um, How about purple? It's a phyllo, phyllo blue um, uh, kind of blended in there. Yeah. Uh, and for the background, try to make it lighter. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you use uh, any purple at all on that one? Uh, no, I, I think it's that's maybe it's a lighter blue, purplish color, maybe, if you see it here. Yeah, yeah. But but that's all I have. The rest of it is either black or I titanium. Well, not titanium, like flake white or zinc white and uh, intense black. I use that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I I use t I tend to use also either the Liquitex paint or the Chauvin uh, acrylic, acrylic acrylics. Paint. Yep, uh, all from. Yeah, I like it. That's basically Rama. what I work in is yeah. uh, acrylics and watercolors. Yeah. So yeah, I love acrylic. So this is again done on a gray overtone that I yeah. start off with, and uh, yeah, it's a nice painting, very yeah. nice. And yeah. you've got one more, right? Uh, uh, yeah, I got uh, two more. Two more? Yeah, two I got more. this lighthouse. I can. Now is that this Maine? Is, no, this is Cape Cod now. This uh, is Cape uh, Cod. Oh, okay. Yeah. I haven't been there in a while either. Yeah, it's um, it's the famous uh, um, Nassau lighthouse, and it's off the uh, Cape Cod seashore. Uh, again, based on my my photo that I took from uh, my iPhone, and uh, look at that sky. That's nice. Yeah. Is this now, oil or acrylic? This is uh, oil on a wood panel. Uh, so I did what I did was here is I, I used my 
imagination to punch up the, uh, the background on the sky by painting a sunset-like sky. So uh, there's, uh, there's some glazing effect here. You can notice uh, that I painted some, uh, mix it with a uh, uh, pinkish color with uh, some cadmium yellows and sky blue and uh, to, to punch up the sky and uh, so I start off with a um, gray tone <clears throat> so you notice when I did the whites uh, I, I painted this lightly over the gray tone so that the gray tone gives it a um, a, uh, a, a whitish tone effect on it uh, and then on the foliage and all that, uh, <clears throat> I did this about a couple, two years ago. I probably could have done a better job on it, but uh, the shadows weren't as punchy here, but I I learned that I should probably use a more, because I didn't use uh, uh, Linquin in, in this painting here that uh, as much as I did in the new ones here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I just, just used transparent linseed oil for the glazing, so. Wow. So, but. Um, you know, there's still good use for linseed oil. That's such yeah. a. Yeah, and then you know I had to paint this over too with the intense black, to oh. try to punch up the light. But I love that sky. Yeah. So, uh, and you have one more. Yep. We just got a couple of minutes left, and I want oh, to get them all in there, Jim. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Let's pan it. Let's see. Now just. I better duck. She's looking like she's going to get me with yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, well, a little bit maybe too tall, but I... Anyway, this is one of my... Uh, it is another oil painting. Um, is that Mary coming after you? No, but she's an Asian actor. It's <laughs> a title. You better straighten uh, up, Jim. <laughs> actually, this painting uh, was... I got some inspiration from it when uh, from the Mulan movie, but uh, it, it's not exactly based on on the on on any painting. So I just did it out of my own imagination. So uh, Good. so this is my own fantasy painting, you might say. Um, yeah, so, that's very nice. So the only thing that I only used for reference was some of the uh, the archery the uh, archery uh, poses uh, that I use as reference. Yeah. To uh, you know how, how you get the how the muscles and all that. Yeah. So, uh, Jim, we've only got yeah okay a minute left. Wow. I want to th uh, thank you very much for coming okay. on the show. And as usual, I I really like your work. All right. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I for mean, inviting me again. Yes, I will. I, yeah, I want to invite you again time, this yeah. coming year too. Yeah. What do you think about that? You know why? Yeah. Because I like to have artists on my show that are serious, and you're a serious artist, yeah. and you do do good work and I'd like to have you on this coming year and I don't know how long this COVID thing is going to last mm. but if he is producing paintings like this uh, I want to see him come back on the show and uh, mm. you can look for us on YouTube uh, yeah I'll they'll send us a yep. link and, and you, you can take care of that part of it right oh yeah yeah I'll uh, blow it yet I have beca a, because it's good. worth it I mean in times like this you need something that you can can do like I, I'm I'm at the point now where I'm doing small work but it's it's working out I would like to thank Jim for coming yep. on the show again and I will see you sometime after January I'm not too sure whether I'll be mm. here the first or second week uh, we'll find out what the schedule is mm. but uh, tune in and keep watching us and don't forget craft workers guild dot org you can buy uh paintings online and thank you for tuning in and thank you jim for being on the show all right thank you